Good day everyone! For today, I am going to teach you how to use Canva in creating an infographic. But before that, let us define first what is infographic. An infographic is a collection of imagery, charts, and minimal text that give us an easy-to-understand overview of a topic. Infographic is a portmanteau of the words information and graphic. In essence, an infographic is a form of visual communications meant to capture attention and enhance comprehension. Now, how are we going to create an infographic? Let us review the five main steps for creating an infographic. First, outline your goal for creating your infographic. Second, collect data for your infographic. Third, make data visualization for your infographic or you can make a draft using a scratch paper and transform it by creating your layout using an infographic template. And the last step, add style to your infographic to make it stand out. Now, let me introduce to you what is Canva. Canva is a free tool with a huge of database of free-to-use images and illustrations. This platform allows you to design and download infographics in any size and file format such as PDF, PNG, and JPEG. Canva even offers a library of infographics ranging in presentation styles and data types. For today, I am going to teach you how to use Canva using your smartphone. But first, you need to download it on the Play Store or any market where you can download Canva. Once downloaded, you will need to sign up for Canva by creating a free account. You can also sign up using an email account or Google account or even with your Facebook account. Once logged in, you will be landed on the home page of Canva. Now at the bottom of this page, you can see three tabs. The home page tab, the designs tab where you can see all your designs, and of course, the menu tab. Now let us go back to the home page. As you can see, Canva has prepared templates for you. All you have to do is to choose the format you will be using. For today, we're gonna use an infographic. You can select an infographic from here, or you can search from here, or from here. The default size of an infographic is 800 by 2000 px. After you've chosen the right size for your project, Canva rolls out a list of layout options that will serve as the base of your infographics. There are hundreds of designs to choose from. Canva offers both free and premium designs templates but the vast majority in this category are free to use. Each template has a variety of options based on the type of data being displayed, the visual use, and the specific niche intended for the design. And as you browse, you are likely to find a perfect template for your infographic. No need to start from the scratch. Now that you've selected a stunning template for your project, it's time for you to create an eye-catching infographic. I will teach you how to edit your chosen template. Now all of this can be edited. Let us start with the background. We just have to top any part of the background. Now if you want to change the color, just press this one. Then you can select from these varieties of color. You can also customize the color by choosing this one. Then drag this point to the color you want. Let us say you want to choose a pastel yellow. First, you need to drag it to the yellow part, then drag this one or this pointer to the shade of pastel yellow. And there you have it. You already changed the color of your background. Now, what if you want a specific photo as your background? What are you going to do? You just have to click replace, then you can upload it from your gallery or you can directly search photos from Canva. Let us say you wanted to feature Taal Volcano on your infographic, then you want it to be the background of your infographic. All you have to do is to type Taal Volcano on the search tab, then choose the photo of Taal that you want. 
Once done, you can still edit the photo based on your style preference. For example, you can choose a filter and at the same time you can adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, tint, blur, and x-ray process. You can also crop it and adjust the visible portion of the photo. You can also flip the photo horizontally or vertically if you want. And aside from that, you can adjust the transparency of the photo. Now, let us proceed with text. You can just simply edit the text here or you can delete it then choose your preferred font style. Just click the add button then choose text. So from here, you can choose or add a heading, subheading, and body text. You can also choose from a ready-made font combination. Let us say you want to choose this one. So from here, you can just simply drag the corner to adjust the font size. Then you can edit the text. Let us say you want to type Taal Volcano. We can also edit the color so that it will be visible to the eyes of your audience. You can choose the color from here. Or if you want a color that will blend into your photo, you can choose from the photo colors. Now aside from photos and text, you can also put some elements to make your infographic more lively and catchy. Now, what are the things that you can see from elements? So here, you can see lines, shapes, frames, stickers. You can also found charts, grids, gradients, and a lot more. Let us try to use shapes. Now, let us try this one. As you can see, the shape is overlapping the text. To change their position, just click position, then choose backward. Then, you just have to drag or you just have to adjust by dragging it. You can also change the color of the shapes. Then, you can also adjust the transparency. Now, you can replace all the data present on this template and put all the data you gathered from your infographic. As you can see, the text here is not visible. You can change it to your preferred color as long as it is visible. You can also delete the stickers and search for the perfect match on your data. Just always remember that you can edit the color or the stickers based on your preferred style. Your project is automatically saved as long as you have an internet connection. Once you're done, you can now download it.